Hi, my Fluger Falcons. I'm so glad that you're back this week for another round of music lessons. Last week, a lot of you learned new songs. This week, some of you are learning new games. Uh, this week, everyone is learning new songs. Um, if you're not learning a new game, it's coming soon. I just have to modify it because we're not at school playing it all together. So I hope you enjoy these little snippets of music class in your house. See you on the other side. Let's warm up our voice today by following the line. If the line is high, your voice is high. If the line is low, then your voice is low. Follow my fancy laser pointer here. Ready, start, high. Oh. Good job, let's get a little bit harder. Ooh, do you start high or low now? You start low. Notice how this is the same line. It doesn't move up or down. So that means your voice is not moving up or down. It's going to be the same. Ready, go. Good job. Do you start high or low now? You start low. Ready, go. Ooh. Ooh, that was tricky at the end. I hope you got that. Ooh, this one looks like fun. Let's start high. Here we go. Oh my goodness, that almost made me dizzy just singing that. Ooh, this one looks a little bit harder. Notice we start low and then you get high, but this one is taller than this one, and this one is taller than this one, and this one's just a little bit taller than this one, so good luck. Ready, go. This one looks really interesting. Remember, when it, the line is the same, your voice is the same. And then there's a little bump in the road and then a hook at the end. Here we go. Good job. Does this one start high or low? High. Here we go. was fun. Here's the last one. Now this one's really hard. I think it looks more like stair steps and then you stay the same. Stair step and then you stay the same and then all of a sudden a big drop at the end. Good luck. Here we go. Well that was fun. Thank you for joining me to warm up our voices today. All right, boys and girls, let's do the tone ladder. Get out your law hand sign. Ready, sing. La, so is a step. So, me is a skip. Mi, re is a step. Re, do is a step. Do, la is a skip. La, so is a step. All right, everyone, get out your hand staff. How many lines are on the hand staff? Five. How many spaces? Four. Do you start at the top, middle, or bottom? <laughs> Hopefully you said bottom. <laughs> Let's start with the letter names of the lines. Ready, go. Every good boy does fine. Then we say space spells face. Ready, go. F-A-C-E. And what is the space below? D. And the line below? C. And sometimes we remember that by saying Dallas Cowboys or Diet Coke. Remember this song? Ready, sing, fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. You with the red coat, follow with the drum. The drum shall beat and you shall run. Fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. 
let's clap the rhythm. There's lots of ta-demies uh, and taka demies in here. Ready, clap. Ta di mi ta di ta di ta ta di mi ta di ta ka di mi ta di ta di ta di ta di ta ta di mi ta di ta ka di mi ta. Um, let's make this a little harder and add an ostinato pattern to tap. Uh, while we sing the song. I happen to have my claves here. If you don't have an instrument, you can always just tap on the table. Uh, you could grab a pot from the kitchen and a, a wooden spoon and that could be something that you could play as well. The ostinato pattern I have on the screen is actually pretty simple. It goes like this. ta di ta di ta ta di ta di ta ta di Ready, sing. Fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. You with the red coat, follow with the drum. The drum shall beat and you shall run. Fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. I think that pattern was too easy. Let's make it a little harder. Ta, ta, taka di mi ta. Ta, ta, everybody sing. Fire on the mountain, run boys run. You with the red coat, follow with the drum. The drum shall beat and you shall run. Fire on the mountain, run boys run. That wasn't too bad, but I think it was still a little too easy. Last one, let's get really hard. Ta di mi ta di ta 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 di mi ta di ready sing fire on the mountain run boys run you with the red coat follow with the drum the drum shall beat and you shall run fire on the mountain run boys run ooh that one was super interesting I like that one thanks for joining me. Boys and girls, I want to teach you a new song called Jolly Miller. Just listen and tap with your spider fingers. There was a jolly miller and he lived by himself. When the wheel went round, he made his wealth. With one hand in his pocket and the other in his bag. When the wheel went round, he made his grab. Draw the phrases. Here we go. There was a jolly miller and he lived by himself. When the wheel went round, he made his wealth. With one hand in his pocket and the other in his bag. When the wheel went round, he made his grab. You should have drawn four phrases. Now I sing each phrase and you echo after me. There was a jolly miller and he lived by himself. When the wheel went round, he made his wealth. With one hand in his pocket and the other in his bag. When the wheel went round, he made his grab. Let's sing the whole song. Ready, go. There was a jolly miller and he lived by himself. When the wheel went round, he made his wealth. With one hand in his pocket and the other in his back. When the wheel went round, he made his grab. So let's learn about the song, The Jolly Miller. Um, this was back a long time ago, like old Western movies is what I want you to think of. And The Jolly Miller is somebody who lives by himself. He's actually a bank robber. A long time ago, uh, banks like Wells Fargo would use these wagons and they would go from town to town picking up their money from the little banks and taking it to the big bank in the city. Well, in between the two towns, there wasn't anything. 
it was just like desert. And so the Jolly Miller would ride up on his horse and he would ride along this uh, stagecoach and would go, whoa, to the horses. And the horses of the stagecoach would stop and he would get on and he would steal all the money and he would ride out. So that's why he made his wealth when the wheel went round. See that wagon wheel there? That's when he made his wealth. Mm -hmm. Well, the banks, they, they didn't want to get robbed anymore. So they started training their horses to stop for a very special word. And it was different for each bank. So that way they couldn't know. It's kind of like how we use passwords now. So people can't hack into our computer. We have passwords. It's the same thing. They made the horses train to stop for just a special word. So it could have been something like, Chicago. I don't know. And, and so when the Jolly Miller would come up a, a next to the stagecoach and he would go, whoa, the horses wouldn't stop. So hopefully they didn't lose their money anymore. Now let's sing the whole song all together. Ready, sing. There was a Jolly Miller and he lived by himself. When the wheel went round, he made his wealth. With one hand in his pocket and the other in his bag. When the wheel went round, he made his grab. <laughs> Thanks for joining me to learn our new song, Jolly Miller. Come back next week and we'll sing it again. All right, boys and girls, last week we started preparing a new concept to learn using the song Old Mr. Rabbit. So let's sing the song and tap the beat. Here we go. Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jumping in my garden and eating all my cabbage. Now let's do clap, pat, 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 clap. Ready, sing. Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jumping in my garden and eating all my cabbage. What word do we sing on the first clap? <gasps> that one's easy. It's the word old. Now, what word do we sing on clap number two? Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got, got. What word do we sing on clap number three? Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jump. Jump, of jumping. Now, yes, it, the whole word is jumping, but we clap specifically on the word jump. What word do we sing on clap number four? Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jumping in my garden and eating. It's the word eat of eating. Now sing the song and draw the phrases. Remember, the way we draw the phrases in the song is very special. A phrase is a musical sentence, so the sentences have to make a little bit of sense. Ready, sing. Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jumping in my garden and eating all my cabbage. Notice the phrase markings on here too. Hmm, interesting. What is the first word of phrase one? Oh, old. Okay, that one's easy. All the others are a little bit more tricky. What is the first word of phrase two? Old Mr. Rabbit, you've, you've, hmm, that doesn't come on the word that we clapped on. Notice how I put it in a very funny little spot before the word that we clapped on. Let's find out. What is the first word of phrase three? Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of, of. Oh, that's another one that's in a weird spot. Let's find out what the first word of phrase four is. Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jumping in my garden and, and. Now I kept, kept saying how these were in weird places and they weren't on the words that we clapped on. Just as a reminder, let's put up the uh, words that we did clap on and the beginning of the phrases. 
is the beginning of phrase two, three, and four on the strong or the weak part of the beat. Again, this is strong. Everything else is weak. Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jumping in my garden and eating all my cabbage. Hopefully you said that the beginning of the phrases, except for phrase one, the beginning of phrases two, three, and four are on the weak part of the beat. Weak. That's why they're not on the heart. Hmm, something very interesting going on there that we're going to learn more about in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for joining me, uh, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad you made it to the end of the video. Oh, I had to wake up little bear, so I hope you weren't sleeping through it like he was. I miss y'all so much, and I'm so glad that I'm able to bring you these little bit of uh, music lessons through uh, YouTube. Hopefully it's like a little part of music class in your house. I miss y'all very much, and I hope to see y'all soon. Bye!